Exactly. So in the spot, oh, man. Garrison finding some love in the mid lane. A great hit on that, but they're not able to follow up with more slow. Morning, just kind of hanging out on the backside. They know it's intense. Speaking of backside, what in the world? Team Solomon coming out of the woodwork here, and it's not going to happen for them. Okay. If Dyrus can withstand this right here and not give up a kill, it's going to be very good for Amazing and TSM. But he gets in without being interrupted by the tornado. One of the lockdowns onto Turtle. We talked about having not that many escapes. Lost Boy can only provide a bit to disengage. Dyrus doesn't know oh, that Wins no. is in the brush. Control from TPA here to the top lane, but amazing nice in game. the back pocket. He gets the cripple down. He's able to lock it. It's Archie going down for first blood, and they could get wins here. Flame spitter out, but they're gonna back off. Just yes. gonna try delayed entrance right here. It's almost impossible to gank for John. Oh, and but it. Oh, what a some pink wards, but we also see them just leave them. They want to defend this one. Very scary for amazing. Just gets himself out to a safeguard, almost stunned up. Morning keeps himself going strong on this one. They're trying to boot there by TPA. Yeah, and while we were talking about TSM potentially setting up for the Dragon here with That's the Rombo. The is teleporting in. Suddenly Stop TPA by get it. Instantly stop. Let's see what's going to happen. Bjergs is the only guy here. Animates joining in. With the ultimate wins very low. Bjergs is going to find the ultimate kill. Well, that was turned around that was. in the top lane. The polymorph was down. Dyrus was able to go full damage even after the wild growth was used through Achi. And what a double play kill going in the bottom on. lane as well. Lost boy. Over what? Again. Oh my god. Still going on the morning. He gets the sombrero to work on him. Absolutely amazing. And I was just going to say amazing. We saw him take right, this one. Let's more just time. see the replay. We're going to try and recreate what happened here. So obviously he teleported or he flashed to stop the teleport but that just made him walk into the level advantage that was Dyrus Great so equalizer. Dyrus pulled it off now we get the bottom lane Deficio take this one well there's not a lot to say actually the fight is already over here lost by I just saw it on my screen before here he managed to actually flash behind PP and ult him backwards and then we got all the damage in from our turn and mid lane of course amazing just going straight for morning it was a good effort by morning but he actually shockwave too early so he didn't trap amazing in turret aggro and it set up a kill down bottom lane as Amazing though, you're in trouble. That's gonna be a problem. Dyrus getting himself into a sticky situation. Wins just got up. Will he go down? He gets the shield and he will stay alive. Dyrus throws on the scrap shield and he gets the movement speed necessary. A quick dodge on the Zenith blade. He's trying to get away, but the sun way too hot as Jay helps to pick up that kill. Suddenly TPA's not back in the game yet, but then yeah. that either is very really weird peculiar to me. Oh, got that warning symbol. They want Amazing, the playmaker right now, really helping out the team. Dyrus can throw down a red carpet. It's right across them. Jay gets locked up pretty hard, but the damage really is not following through just yet. BB hops over the wall looking for a reset to get back to say We're staying on, but Wild Turtle, he was still stuck in the bottom oh. lane. He didn't move in time for the top lane to push in. It's exactly what we saw happen down here. Dyrus might be in trouble. Uh-oh, he gets an explosive. Taking poke. He's already below half. Could it be the ball? Oh, no. Hey, he gets like one in there. Amazing got hit up. The heal comes out quickly and they turn this fight right around. Exactly. Jay finally gets in. The red carpet gets laid out and they're going to welcome them to the party. Dyrus, he gets untargeted with the Zanyas. But can they continue the fight? There's no minions. They're stepping a little here, guys. There come the ultimates. One last shot. Achi dodges close and he dodges the right way. TSM just can't seem to finish these kills. One part about not having the big initiation and just the poke. They have to close. There's one. One indeed, Jat. Turtle taking a lot of shots here. There's no re-engage you're going to be seeing. Way too low on the health bars from everybody standing. Leona, it's not exactly like they have a good siege-breaking team. They're going to try right here. The wind's in a pick board. That gets oh, denied. Oh, they throw out the Howling Gale. He gets shut down immediately. Last time he's going to be doing Whoa. that. Oh. Nice shots coming in. We saw him, knocked him up, and instant just killed him. Very surprised that Achi didn't even use his Lulu ultimate right yeah. there. But as you can see, it is now indefensible. That's exactly what TSM needs. Good vision control. That's been wind's arch nemesis this game has been those wards. And it takes him down yet again. Costs TPA and inhibitor. Jay goes low as well. Over to Team Solo Mid. This may be what they need to finalize the game. TPA is going to be forced and they into the still base. still lost the Oh Nexus my gosh, That's goes down that way with Achi trying to protect it. Yeah, four members on TPA with this running. Maybe just Rico from his bottom lane. Tears, they might be able to get a bit of damage on the tower. He will join in. Notice Jay here on your minimap. He's already flanking around. They, they want to go. go now. They, they want another big board. 
Jay gonna be looking for a solar flare. It locks down Dyrus, but he's already got the equalizer damage out. Zanya's across the board. You're looking good, gentlemen. They go for the inhibitor turret now. It's 11 to 4, and TSM's gonna be looking to get a lot more kills as they pressure down on the Nexus turret. Just no. Oh, Dyrus actually gets caught, I believe. Yep. They're quite deep in. It's gonna be Lost Boy trying to come to his help. That regen from Baron is really allowing them to just stay on the front steps of TPA, doing what they can themselves, getting suffocated. Fall behind. It just makes it look pretty bad. TSM looking to dodge another one on this. Pink War oh, actually going, going down. Time. They do get the shockwave. Lost Boy disengages the fight. The equalizer not hitting much. There is hardly any follow-up though from TPA. It's gonna be a wait on the ultimate. This Sonic Wave hits and he takes it all the way in. Amazing. Pushing back BB and Morning, and it's gonna be the last inhibitor turret for Team Solomid if they want it. I mean, finally TPA actually got a decent shockwave, but it was when they had a 15,000 gold disadvantage. This will be the game. It looks like it is a 40-minute matchup between Team Solomid and TPA. They will go 2-1 on the group. A lot of people wondered what would happen in this match, and it's Team Solomid coming out with the victory. By far the most controlled game that TSM has played so far here at Worlds. They had powerful ward control. They played it safe. And Wild Turtle was rather tame, yet effective in this one. And that